buddy. Solomon's Tales again. Don't know the number. Got it. Forgot. Solomon's in Shulukville, Cambodia. He's checked into a hotel. Swimming pool on the roof. Nice little hotel. Aircon. Rooms reasonable. Clean. It's on the beachfront. See the beach from the room. There's no veranda or seating area at the front of his room, but it's a window. Bike, rented motorbikes parked at the side safe. Mentioning safe, there's a safe in the room. Bits and pieces in there all locked up, good. Nice little hotel. Um, and he wanders up onto the roof, decides to have a swim, a couple of hours up there chilling. Really nice. Back to room, gets changed, he thinks, right, he's going to go out and get some food and check out some of these bars. He grabs some dollars and he had a bunch of the local money so he grabbed that as well. I kept saying it's Ringus, I think it's Rill, R-I-E-L. Ringus, is that Malaysia? I can't remember this, but lots of little coins. It's just like, just like tin money. Dollar is king in Asia, so he's got a load of these real. And heads out. Only along, 100 metres, turns into the road. Nice little restaurant there, cafe. I think so. Get in there, looks at the menu. Yeah, got a lot of different food. Order some meat, rice, whatever, some dishes. Sits down and uh, has, a, has the food. Guy walks in, table next to him. Now the staff, they seem to speak a little bit of English, but not much. The quality of the people he's seen in Shulukville, the clothing is quite, they, they seem poor. Seems to be, there's a lot of kids begging on the streets. It's quite, 15 years ago. It's quite humbling, the, the poverty. It makes you realize, you know, that you are quite wealthy when you're in these countries. Anyway, a guy sits down at the table next to him, English accent, orders some food. Solomon says hi, and they get chatting. Guy's from up north in the UK. Um, and he's teaching there. So Solomon asks him about the nightlife and usual questions. And the guy sort of says, well, up this street, there's a few bars, go around the top corner. There's a big bar there, there's some sort of dancers, and that's the biggest bar. And Solomon asks him sort of prices and what the system is, and the guy's very helpful, tells him some bars, it's similar to Thailand, pay a bar fine, get a companion, pay that companion separately. Some of you have paid the whole thing up front, but mainly similar to Thailand. Um, anyway, they got chatting a bit, Solomon finishes food, says thanks to the guy. Um, it's about 8 in the evening, Solomon walks up this road, a couple of hundred metres, towards the main town centre road, and he finds another bar on the right, and there's a few girls in there, and he thinks, try this one, in he goes, gets a table, girls, a few of them come over, don't speak any English, and he gets a beer, again a strange beer, and there's a TV screen, there's a bit of music on, it's quite relaxing, but no customers. Um, no customers at all, so it's a bit lonely. And the girls are sort of trying to communicate and nah, not working, no pool table, nothing at all, nothing at all. Anyway, he finishes his drink, he thinks, okay. okay pays and the, and the beer is so cheap it's about um, oh, 40 it's about half a dollar it, it's ridiculously cheap really really cheap a lot of it's bottled hadn't spotted draft beer at this place comes out up to the main road comes around a lot of shops around the corner 100 meters along there's the big bar that this guy was on about and it is quite, it's on a corner, quite a big, sort of wooden, it's like a ranchy style bar. Sounds like some good music going on. There's a lot of people in there. Um, so maybe it's the main bar of the town back then. Anyway, up some steps, in he goes. 
few customers, uh, foreigners around, dotted around. You can see some pool tables at the back. There's big screens, quite a few. It's quite a nice bar. He meanders in, finds a table. It's one of these high tables you get a stall in setting up. Perches. And they've got girls, like service girls, in sort of mini skirts and a nice blue sort of blouse with table with a the old like a silver platter tray to bring your drinks that girl comes over really nice girl very pretty she spoke a bit of english there's a bonus and caught his eye immediately just the outfit slightly different looking to thai girls um slightly darker skin very pretty and immediately yeah he's just walked in and he's clocked this service girl she comes over her name's me so uh, she starts chatting to him which is unusual it's usually what drink do you want and psh, gone but she starts chatting she does ask him what drink and he says beer and he uh, says to the you're a service girl or do you work here he's sort of hinting and she knows straight away and she's very forward and she's, yes, I'm a service girl, and at 10 o'clock I can go with a customer, and it's like $3 to pay the bar for the, to take a girl out. Very chatty, quite good English, he understood her. Anyway, she says, okay, gets the beer, it's off she goes, brings the beer back. And she's sort of hovering around, and he's like mm, looking around and he's thinking I really could do with a tour guide of this area Schluckville what I want is a girl that speaks English that can jump on the scooter with me and we can wander up the beaches and have a look around and this girl's really bubbly but he looks around and there's quite a few of these service girls and they're all same outfits but this one really pretty he says to me, he says, uh, I need, I'd like a girl, somebody to show me around the area, go to the beaches and look around, see what's on offer in the area. And she's, oh, no problem, I can, you know, can do this for you and I'm available at 10 o'clock. And then she, it, straight out with it, she goes, $10, 24 hours, $10. How cheap is that? And he's thinking, oh, but he said, okay. He said, I'll play pool and drink 10 o'clock. We'll go. 24 hours. And she's like, yeah, he, excellent. And she wanders off, serves a few more customers. He picks his beer up, walks across to the pool table. Another girl comes over. She indicates that she wants to play pool, but she doesn't speak English, this one. He's like, yeah. And me appears straight over, talks to this girl in Cambu Shai or whatever you call the language. I think she told her, look, he's mine, so <laughs> you can play pool with him, but lay off. And the, you could see this other girl's sort of, mm, okay. <laughs> anyway, he had a couple of games of pool with this girl, bought her a drink, so it made her a bit happier. And um, yeah, had a uh, good time in that bar, very good. 10 o'clock came, me came across with the bill for his few beers and and that three dollars whatever it is for the bar fine and that's about 15 bucks or 12 bucks or something for everything, paid the beer bill, she went off, paid it, shot off into the back, five minutes later came back, typical Asian girls, pair of jeans, t-shirt, handbag, put her arm through, grabbed his arm, sort of put his, her arm through his arm and headed for the door, smiling at all the other girls, you know, look, I've got a trophy. <laughs> um, yeah, so come out the bar, did a left, and then there's this other main street coming that back down to the beach. So he's like, hmm, it's 10 o'clock, should we go for another drink? And says to her, do you want some food or a drink? We'll go for a drink. And she's like, yes and yes. Okay, so it comes down the street about 50 yards and there's some food carts on the road for sale. She said, 
get some food here. Chicken on sticks, usual. So he got some for him and her. And then she pointed next bar. He's got food. And the, like, yeah, go in the bar where the food be right. In they go. Table. Ordered a couple of drinks. Another girl come over. Small bar. Two or three girls. Um, even brought plates over for each of them to put their food on. That was good. Good service. Got a beer. Another telly. No pool tables. Too small a bar. And he had the food and started chatting. Getting on really well. Really nice. Me. What a name, me. I think it was M-I, my, me. Hey, anyway, finished food, finished drinks. Hotel. Back down to the beach, slow walk along. And he says where he's staying. She didn't, uh, it, well, he didn't pronounce the name properly, whatever it was, and she didn't. But she's just like, yeah, whatever. And they wandered along, hotel. Grabbed his key at the desk. There's a guy on the desk at night. And he just smiled. He's like, yeah, I know what you're doing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and Solomon, I mean, he, he hadn't really thought about girl for the night. He was cause still ninging his head. It was more of the next day. But anyway, up to the room. Um, shower. Mia had a shower. And a very good night. 7 out of 10. Aerobics workout. Good. Goody, goody. <laughs> yeah, very good. Next morning, more lessons. Up they get. Plan is jump on the bike, go find breakfast, and then just keep heading off. And me's like, yep, yeah, great. She says, I want to go back to my room, change, get some different clothes. Um, so Solomon's like, okay, I want to get breakfast. She says, you go breakfast, and he points like, to the place next door, little cafe. And he's like, okay, I'll go there then. She'll go rim, come back, meet him, cafe. Okay. So he says, do you want to borrow the bike? to go room and back. And she's like, no room, just round corner. So, down they go. He goes into the little cafe next door. All he has, just toast, coffee. They've got it, that's good. Can't spot a 7-Eleven or equivalent where he is. Probably up in the main street, but he thinks, okay, we'll find something later for drinks and stuff for the day. Uh, he has breakfast, back she comes turns up with a rucksack Thanks. and changed Thanks. Well, okay and she says she wants to put rucksack room mm, okay so up she goes sorts out chucks the rucksack in comes back all good she doesn't want food so I pay the bill onto the bike I head off towards um, Vietnam way so they go in east along the beach and they wander along five six kilometers and then me says down this track there's a really little bumpy lane not even a proper track I think, okay and they wander down no helmets crazy um, and he's only got one helmet anyway under the seat but no pff, down this little lane comes to beautiful little beach much better sand water's still dark though it's not really hot sunny day it's the sun's out but it's little beach and there's a wooden style little cafe bar does food does everything and there's some tables like coffee tables sort of dotted on the beach with plastic stools but there's no one on the beach it's deserted and there's just one woman in this bar beautiful place absolutely gorgeous and Solomon thinks oh this is this is amazing absolutely amazing so they grab a seat the woman comes over food yeah as usual loads of food and they spent <coughs> pretty much four or five hours just lying around on this beach eventually 
Solomon ventures into the water as I swim. Me doesn't go in. He's just carrying on he's eating from breakfast pretty much all day. And they've had a few beers. And the day's just flying by. Anyway, Solomon thinks, well, okay, that's great. I fancy going back to the hotel, having a bit of a nap, and maybe I'll have a swim in the pool. And that's really it with me. He's thinking that's going to be the sort of the 24 hours. Well, the evening she's going to want to go back to work. So, jump on the bike, pay the bill, and it's pennies. Back, all the way back to the hotel. Drop the bike off. Head up to the room. And me's on his arm, up to the room. And says to uh, Solomon that... Uh, She's got to go to work later. And he says, well, I'm going to go for the pool, have a swim, relax, a couple of hours. And he's getting a little bit tired. But she insists on, they need some exercise, a bit of an aerobics class there and then. And then says to Solomon after, before she leaves, tonight, uh, special. She couldn't make, she just said, tonight, $20. And he's like, mm, hang on, ten dollars you said, and pay bar three. She just said, special, twenty dollars. I come back after ten o'clock to hotel. I leave bag here. Um, special. And he thinks, well, she's been brilliant, and I can have a quiet night. I probably won't go out. Let's get some more food later. He said, okay okay whatever and she's happy off she goes leaves her bag there obviously going back to her room and off to work so what's he expecting twenty dollars she's going to turn up in some beautiful cambodian outfit and do some dancing and show in his room for the evening put a special show on for that's what it's going to be he pops out gets some food back to the room 10.30, 10.45, knock on the door and he thinks, here we go, me's back and it's going to be traditional dress or something. Opens the door and there she is, jeans and t-shirt. But biggest surprise, there's another girl with her. This girl's called Oi. She's even prettier than me. She's a cleaner at the bar. And me's like surprise and in they both walk to the room close the door always got a bag dumps it on the side and they both head off into the bathroom and start having a shower yeah. what and we're way over time we're going to leave it there me and oi me me and oi well yeah see you on the next one hmm. 20 dollars <laughs>